creators it's melissa from melissa's creations and today we have a very special episode because we are participating in the creators blog hop and this month's theme is christmas cards i'm really excited about this card it was inspired by the paper collage on Pinterest. They did a similar card with this cute little French door gatefold card and I really wanted to create it with Stampin' Up! products and share it with all of you. So this is the front and I used cherry cobbler cardstock with a little bit of the shaded spruce for these little guys here and some of our white baker's twine. I used our metallic brads here as the little doorknobs and I thought that was just super adorable. I've also kind of distressed the edges here with white craft ink and then when you open it up you have your sentiment on the inside and lots of room for you to write your little greeting to the recipient. So I thought that was super fun. We're going to make a different color variation of this card. We're going to do a white background with kind of a metallic feel. So I'm really excited to see how the next one turns out. And stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek at a couple of other cards that I made when I was trying to decide which card to do for this block hop. So stay tuned for that. And let's get started making this adorable gatefold card. So we are going to start off with a standard piece of cardstock. This is Whisper White, and this is eight and a half by 11. I'm going to, first of all, put it in, and I'm going to be cutting on the short side. This is the eight and a half inch side here. I'm going to line that up with the five and a half inch mark on my trimmer. So we're going to trim that down and set this aside. We will use it in just a minute. So I'm going to rotate that paper. So now it's five and a half by 11. I'm going to scooch it all the way over so that I'm lining the left edge of my cardstock up with the two and one eighth inch mark on my trimmer. So that's the second tick mark past the two on the left. So I'm going to score with the scoring blade on my Stampin' Trimmer. And then I'm going to scoot that over until the score line that I just made lines up with the four and a quarter inch mark on my Stampin' Trimmer. And then I'm gonna score it again. And now that score line is going to match up with the two and an eighth inch mark. And instead of scoring, I'm going to cut it this time. So what you're left with is the gatefold portion of this card. So there's our card base. Now we're going to cut all of those little rectangles for the door panels. The first panel we want to cut measures one and a half by three inches and you want two of each size panel. This is the strip that was left over after we cut our card base and it is three inches wide. So I'm going to start by cutting this into two pieces at one and a half inches wide. So there are both of those panels. Now I need two pieces that measure one and a half by one and three quarter. So because this is three inches wide, I'm going to cut it at one and three quarter first. And then I'm going to rotate it and cut it at one and a half. And that will give me two equal pieces. Okay, so that's the bottom panels. Now I'm going to cut two pieces that measure one and a quarter by one and a half. So I'm going to measure this at one and a quarter. Again, it's three inches wide. So when I rotate it and cut it at one and a half, I'll have two equal pieces. And these will go on top of the last two pieces we just cut. And finally, we need two pieces that measure one and three quarters by three and one quarter. It's kind of a tongue twister, but I think we're gonna manage it. So it's three inches this way, so not quite long enough to get that three and a quarter. So I'm gonna cut three and a quarter this way. 
and then I'm going to rotate and cut out one and three quarters. So there's one panel. And then I'm going to use this other scrap here. And I'm going to cut it long way at three and a quarter. And then I'm going to rotate and trim down to one and three quarter. I also have all of these measurements listed out for you on my blog post that coordinates with this video. You can find the link for that in the description box below. All right, so we have two pieces that measure one and three quarter by three and a quarter, two pieces that measure one and a half by three, two pieces that measure one and a half by one and three quarter, and two pieces that measure one and a quarter by one and a half. So the next step is to take some gray granite. This is the classic Stampin' Pad in the new pad style. I just replaced all of my neutral colors and all of my regals, and I'm still working on the other color families, but I got those replaced, and I'm so excited because they're nice and inky, they're super juicy, and they work so well. They're beautiful colors. So I have my sponge dauber here, and I'm gonna take all of those panels that I just cut out and I'm just going to very gently sponge the edge of each of those pieces. Okay, so now that I have those pieces all sponged, we're going to sponge the edges of our card base to make it look like the door is also distressed. I'm going to use some of our snail adhesive to adhere all of the panels together. So these are the two largest panels. The two panels that are slightly smaller will just layer right on top. And then the two smallest panels are going to layer onto these pieces. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and adhere those to the front of our card. I'm going to use a bone folder to crease those score lines a little better. And the two longer panels will be adhered to the top and the smaller panels to the bottom. For our doorknobs, I have two little gold brads here. These brads are from the Metallics Brads in the annual catalog, and they are super cute. If you haven't seen them yet, take a look. Some of the brads in here are little buttons. They are so adorable. I love that. And they come in a variety of colors. We have silver, gold, and copper. So what we're going to do with these little brads we're going to spread them apart and then we're going to flatten them so that the legs are flat out. So I'm gonna just set that down on the desk and I'm going to push it down and kind of bend those legs outward because what we are looking for is the top and bottom of what the old doorknobs kind of look like and that's just gonna get glued down with some glue dots right there. How cute! So I have some mini glue dots here and I use two glue dots for each one. So I'm taking my stylus tool on the take your pick tool and I'm just folding one of those glue dots in half and then I'm going to just kind of shove it into that brad opening right there so that it kind of makes it look like it's a little puffier. So that's the first one. And then I'm going to pick up a glue dot and keep it as flat as I can. And then I'm going to put it right on top of that circle part of the brad. And then we can stick that in place. And we'll do the same on the other one.
The stamp and die set we're using on this card is Christmas Pines and the Pretty Pines Thinlets dies. For the Thinlets dies, we're going to use three of those beautiful little greenery pieces. So I have those two sprigs here and then this little bunch of berries on twigs. I'm not sure what you would call that, but these are the three pieces from that set we're using. So I have a piece of champagne foil here and I'm going to cut one each of these guys and I'm going to cut two each of this guy. So I have here the foam that comes with the die brush. I'm going to put my dies onto the foam, take the die brush roller and just roll it until those dies loosen away from the foil. And I have some of our metallic edge ribbon. This is in the vanilla color with gold trim. And I am going to make two of these little bows to go on the front of our card. So I'm going to take some mini glue dots and I'm just going to layer these on top of that mini glue dot. So I'm just going to stick the stem right down on there. So I've got one of those and then I'm going to put down one of these little twig pieces. And I'm going to pick that up and put it straight onto my door. And then we're going to add some glue dots to the back of our bows and put those right over the top. And finally, to finish it off, I'm going to cut a mat to go inside and then I'm going to cut another mat out of Whisper White to layer on top of that. So this is shaded spruce and I'm cutting it at four by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to cut a piece of Whisper White at three and three quarter by five. Using the Stamparatus, I'm going to put my Whisper White card mat down. I'm going to use my magnets to hold that in place. And one of the sentiment stamps from the Christmas Pines stamp set is Tidings of Comfort and Joy. So I'm going to put that right up here towards the top in the middle. I'm going to pick that up with my stamp Stamparatus plate. And we're going to ink that up in Shaded Spruce. You can see that I just cleaned my stamp and it still had a little bit of red residue on it. So that's okay because with the stamp radis, we can make it stamp in one place. So now with my snail, I'm going to layer that on top of my shaded spruce card mat. And then I'm going to layer that right on the inside. And there we are creators. There is our fun French door gatefold card made using the Christmas Pines stamp set and coordinating dies. Isn't that just fun? I love it. Let me know in the comments below which one you prefer, the Cherry Cobbler or the Whisper White. Thank you so much for joining me on this special video today to celebrate the creator's blog hop for December. We've gone all the way through the entire year, January through December, and I am really excited to start out 2019 with our creator's blog hop group. Be sure to check the description box below and click on the coordinating blog hop post and you can hop around to all of our wonderfully talented demonstrators. We have a large group this go around, so there's lots of inspiration to be had for your Christmas card making. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to click that bell icon so you can be notified when I upload future videos. You can follow me on the web at melissascreations.com and on Facebook at facebook.com mcreations. I'm also on social media. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest with the handle at mcreations. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!